I'm Father Antonio Limchaipo, a member of the Gusinian Recollects here in San Sebastian Parish. I'm a member of the community where there are 11 of us here, 11 priests. I have been a priest for almost 30 years. And uh, since I was a young priest, it was always my dream to be able to be assigned, not only to be assigned here in this church, but to say Mass, to be the main celebrant of a Mass inside this very beautiful church. And uh, that's why we're inviting every everybody who are watching this this video to see the inside because I know there are a lot of people already even the Filipinos have seen the Basilica from the outside only but they, they have not entered the Basilica yet it is a totally different story inside the church located in the district of Quiapo right in the heart of the city of Manila the Basilica first opened its doors in 1891 but the history of San Sebastian goes back to as early as 1621. It was the year that our recollect predecessors constructed the first San Sebastian on this very site. Four other San Sebastians were destroyed by war, fire, calamity, until our recollect predecessors commissioned a design for a unique all-metal church. This is the San Sebastian Basilica that you see now. It is the fifth and designed to be the best version of San Sebastian, a recollect legacy born from resilience so we can continue to serve our duty to maintain the church as a shrine to the country's first image of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Stepping inside the Basilica is like stepping back in time. You are transported to 19th century Manila. Because much of the interior was left unchanged over the years, what you are seeing now is also what the residents of Manila first saw when the doors opened for the first time in 1891. Right ahead is the wooden structure that we call the Retablo. It's the first Carmelite image in the country. Our Lady of Mount Carmel de San Sebastian, who is over 400 years old. Right above us are vaulted ceilings in the Gothic style. Their high arches immediately draw the eyes towards and give us the feeling of being surrounded by the divine. Our recollect predecessors wanted a resilient church made of metal, but it was faith that was going to clothe it because every inch of metal surface was painted to look like stone, taking after the old stone churches in the Philippines and the image of stone in the Bible. The ceiling was painted to look like four jasper and the walls like four marble. It was Filipino artistry that clothed the metal in art. A whole class of Filipino art students from the Academia de Debujo e Pintura, the first art school in the country, hand painted over 140 figural paintings of different saints and doctors of the church. They were all done in the trompe l'oeil style, a French technique which means to trick the eye. Each of the figural paintings were painstakingly designed to look three-dimensional and realistic. But the basilica's crowning glory is its dome, where many of the figural paintings of saints watch over the main altar from their high niches. While the beauty of San Sebastian speaks for itself, invisible to most eyes are the dangers faced today by this all metal dome. Leaks throughout the church also develop over time, letting in volumes of rainwater that damage both the art and the metal. Rust threatens to permanently damage the structure. It's corroding through the metal of the dome and the replaceable paintings housed there. Some cast iron elements have also started to loosen and fall, threatening even the lives of the community that serve the church. We are once again marrying faith and science by introducing St. Sebastian Basilica to a larger audience together with SIR. I inviting you to join us, the Order of Augustinian Recollects, 
San Sebastian Conservation Foundation, and the local community we serve to be a part of history and to protect this church so that future generations can experience this authentically Filipino legacy of resilience.